Hey everybody, just wanted to show you all real quick a really good uh, website that you can use to help plan your astrophotography sessions. And it's just, it's just a really good resource because it has a ton of information on all of the sort of things that are going to be up and available at, at whatever specific night you're looking at. So you can put in your location. Um, it normally does date automatically and everything. Uh, it'll tell you a little, bit the, uh, a little bit about the moon, a little bit about your light and everything. Um, you can look at your target. So I'm interested in deep sky in particular. So it brings up a list of things that are more optimal and you can kind of scroll through everything. You can filter around by like object type if you're only interested in galaxies, for example. You can do all these toggles to get looking exactly what you want. I'm going to be imaging the Rosette Nebula here in a little bit. So it's going to be peaking at roughly uh, 62 degrees from the horizon, that's altitude, uh, at 10.47 p.m. in the south. So since I actually commute to the locations that I shoot from, it sort of helps me out knowing where exactly it's transiting so I don't, uh, I don't look directly towards like a really light polluted area or anything like that. Uh, it's got information on like size and magnitude, so this is brightness essentially, as well as your right ascension and declination, which are really important, especially if you're using a uh, polar mount of any kind or a uh, computerized one. And the really neat thing that Telescopius has is this telescope simulator. So you can input your focal length, which mine is 650. Uh, I'm not using a Barlow or anything. Uh, my camera is a crop sensor, so it's 22.2 by like 14.8, which is close enough for this. Um, and it'll give you a little simulation of what, uh, what the framing will be for the object that you're looking at. So they have different uh, surveys or filters, whatever you want to call them on here. So this is some like really uh, <laughs> pretty stuff made by some uh, people with some really good tech. It shows you the, the main thing that I use this for is for framing. So a bunch of the objects that you're going to see are really, really, really dim. So looking at this, this is one of the brighter things at magnitude 4.8. So I might be able to see something vaguely, but something that I will be able to see for sure are these brighter stars. And I can use these brighter stars around the object to make sure that I'm sort of centered on it and just make sure I'm shooting the right thing. So you're not going to have a problem with something like Andromeda or like the Pleiades or Orion Nebula or anything like that since those are all really really bright. But if you're doing something like Helix Nebula, uh, getting into those uh, dimmer objects, then this is, this is definitely a good thing to sort of look at before you go. Also they have underneath the survey stuff um, the amounts of like hydrogen alpha. So hydrogen alpha is a really important wavelength to capture. Um, it's blocked unfortunately by the infrared filters in some cameras since it's it's teetering on the brink of like visible to infrared sort of that point in the spectrum. So like if you have a Canon camera like I do, uh, one of the filters in there blocks about 90% of the hydrogen alpha, hydrogen alpha wavelength. So you can't shoot too much of that, or at least rely on things that have a lot of it. So one of the things, for example, that's really good to shoot if you um, don't have a modded camera is the Pleiades right here. Because the Pleiades is a collection of blue stars, and it's actually a reflection nebula. So the, the little clouds around reflect the light coming off these blue stars instead of emitting light themselves from being heated up for everything. So... Again, this is just, Telescopius is a really good website for helping plan out everything, helping figure out what exactly is available, and helping you make sure you're on target for everything. So, um, definitely check that out. This isn't sponsored or anything. This is just a website that I really have found to be helpful for me personally. So, uh, good luck and clear skies, guys.